had a great time here because the food was really good and I love food. Um, and it was very interesting to be able to talk to all the different people here um, and learn about their experiences, learn where they live. Um, I made some great connections with, with some people. Um, and it's been very fun and I got to carve in soapstone, which is really cool. Again? Charlotte. Charlotte, and where are you coming from? Tallahassee. Mm -hmm. And what's the story with you getting here? Um, so I had heard about it through Marty Beach, mm -hmm. and um, I, I said, "Well, this sounds amazing, but well, do we have a youth program or something?" She said, "Well, no, not right now." So I called the office and I said, "Can I be treated like one of the adults?" And they said, "Okay." And so I'm here. And um, I've, I've been a climate activist for a long time, but just this past year, I've gotten really, really into it. Mm -hmm. That's been awesome. So what's, what's the journey like that been? Have you found other youth networks or? I have. Um, now, you know, we have such big organizations run by youth and they're being led um, from the Stop the Climate Crisis. And it's been amazing to interact with these youth, but also not many of them are UU. And um, it's cool to have like a spiritual and an environmental cause kind of Combined. Yeah, yeah. I feel like uh, there's been a lot of. It's really cool to see kids uh, lead the way, <laughs> um, and it will be something that affects, you know, the younger generation. Um, how do you feel that you were received here, or like, what was your experience with the mountain like? It was amazing. I think everyone was really, really supportive and sweet, and um, they, they treated me like an adult, but in the best way. So I always had someone around me for safety reasons, but I also got to make my own independent choices. And um, people were just very, very sweet and kind and supportive. And you know, if I got up to speak, there was a lot of smiles. And it just, it, I felt very appreciated by people, and that was a good feeling. Mm -hmm. Did you connect with any of you while you're here still? Yeah. Um, so couple of youth. Um, I actually, I was told that there weren't going to be any, and so it was awesome to be surprised like that. And, you know, we would go up to the tower and look at the stars, or we play ping pong, or just, you know, talk. And that was really, really special. What was uh, your favorite kind of workshop or takeaway that you feel like you've um, really incorporated? I think that um, probably my favorite takeaway was that we have to combine the good things with the bad things. So the bad climate science, but it's the parts that are really scary and that we don't want to talk about. We have to talk about them, but we also need to integrate them with the good parts. Like um, there are carbon negative, there's a carbon negative country in Asia. That's something to talk about and how amazing that is. Uh, or Costa Rica is going to be 100% renewable by 2025. And we're not talking about that too. And so it makes people feel really you know, bleak for the future. but giving people that extra bit of hope along with, you know, go, go, go make action in your world too. It's really important. Mm -hmm. You hit it on the head. <laughs> what kind of uh, action do you see going on where you live? Um, well, actually, my, my city uh, passed um, a resolution saying they're going to be 100% renewable by 2050. So it's a start. It's not quite what the activists wanted, but um, it's a compromise, and hopefully we're going to try to push our city to go a little bit earlier. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, the recycling program in our county has been expanded, and so it's covering more neighborhoods now, and especially the poorer neighborhoods who haven't had access to recycling before. Mm -hmm. So you've, uh, you feel like you've gained a lot from growing up UU? <laughs> yeah. yeah it, it kind of it puts in a sense of you know, values and respect for everybody, and that's something that can take a while for people to learn, and so being raised with that idea kind of already in your head is very special.